Hi, Leather Rock here. Welcome to my channel, and this is Tabby Boy. Check out this makeup I'm wearing. I have designed for you a makeup that would really work well with the most kinds of masks that you would see in a medical setting, which would be the surgical mask like I'm wearing or the N95 that I usually wear. Now, some of you may say that medical people aren't allowed to wear makeup, but for those who are allowed to and who would like to play with colors to go with what you're wearing, these colors go with the blue in the greenish colored hospital scrubs. If you want to see how I did it, stay tuned. First thing I'm going to do is prep my eyelid. I've got two products in my hands. I'm going to use this uh, cream by Sassy Lady, S-A-C-E lady uh comes in a lightest shade but it is not light enough for me which is why i'm using two colors this zero one a little bit on my hand yeah. fingertip it um ideally pressing it into my eye area try not to touch this eyebrow area yet First of all, I really don't want to smear, especially considering that all I have is a powder, is a combination of two powder eyeshadows on my eyelids. Now, gonna go back with this is Ben Nye Cream Makeup, and uh, yeah, it's this cream color in white. Uh, uh, I got this in New York City. I'm going to, well, soften up the color on my hand, and then I'm going to. Touch the brow bone to make up for the too dark lid color. And go back, maybe touch a little bit more of the white. Um, now I'm going to take a look in the mirror to make sure that I didn't Picasso myself. And so that there's a nice even coat Oh, moistness for the eyeshadow. And I'm going to go ahead and carry some underneath. As I usually do, I already went and put my foundation on ahead of time. I really don't see the need to put that on, on camera. It just takes more time and everybody is going to use a different color. So you just, I recommend anybody use the products that are most suitable to themselves. I am going to be using two palettes for this look. I'm going to be using B&H Cosmetics Wild and Alluring Palette. It, now, this was not one of the shadows in there. The shadow finally fell out and I put another tin on there. But I, it's not my favorite palette, but I'm going to be using some of the greens in that. I'm also going to be using some of this Tarte palette called uh, Rainbow something rainbow I don't know but anyway they were trying to be clever these aren't really anything remotely like green but I'm going to make this work first thing got to get the brushes uh, I'm going to get something that's a combination of a blending and depositing brush this is just a Vivace 99 cent store brush very versatile brush I really appreciate that brush I am going to use these, some of these colors are a combination of colors. So if you wanted to, you could use a really fine detailed brush and just get the orangey peachy color, but I'm gonna to try to get as much of just that green color as possible. And I'm gonna really, you know, sometimes it's good to loosen up the shadow with the end of your brush and just dip into it and dig around. Stick around, and if it looks like it's got some color, now I'm going to, and I'm going to go kind of near the brow bone, but not totally. It's like a kind of an above the crease color. And I'm going to repeat to do the other eye. And this color seems to be kind of sheer, so I'm sure I'm going to have to do this more than once 
truth be told, I really want to use up this palette. Some of these palettes, I almost don't know what I was thinking when I got them because they haven't necessarily been all that useful. Another thing is the colors present differently on different people's monitors. I'm going to want to get more of a white color on the absolute brow bone. For that, I'm going to dip into the Color Festival palette by B&H Cosmetics. Uh, and I want to get a very detailed brush and I have to reach over, so hold on. This brush here is an Ulta Beauty brush. It just says eyeshadow. I got this with the makeup collection last Christmas. And as promised, I'm dipping into the B&H Cosmetics Color Festival palette. And I'm going to use that palest white looking shade there. All these shades have a name. And this shade is called Disco. And you see this is a really good brush for detailing. It's not a blending brush. If you want to just get the edges. And I want to get like about an eighth of an inch of a margin right up against my eyebrows just so that the green isn't absolutely touching. And I'm going to repeat the other eye. I have some more of my window exposed to allow more light in. I realize that all these flags covering up the semi-gloss paint have kind of done something about the light enhancement that I thought I got by being up closer against the back of the, you know, the window, the wall here. So, I really want both sides to match. I actually had to go out for a few minutes just before filming and I pulled this hat all the way over my face to conceal my identity and it kind of rubbed some of my eyebrow color off. Okay, let's see if you can see that. Just so the whole idea here is so that you have some of what looks like skin color just before your, your eyebrow color starts. So whatever colors you would use to match whatever your skin color is, that's what I would recommend if you're going for the same effect. Now gonna get another brush here I'm gonna get another Vivace brush and this is so all-purpose this is good for crease color this is good uh, for finer you can get a thick crease or a thin crease you can go underneath the eye you can sweep you can deposit I, there's a lot you can do with it and the price isn't too shabby either I am going to go into the Tarte Let It Rainbow palette and I'm going to take this decidedly not green looking color and I'm going to sweep the brush like this and I am going to go kind of underneath where I just was. So this is pretty much going to go into the natural crease but I'm going to leave as much of the lid blank as possible so I can add more color to it. Hopefully this combination of colors will go really well with uh, this really interesting green hospital scrubs. I took an informal survey of one other human being who happens to be my mother and asked her if it was just my imagination or did green seem to be the most common color for hospital scrubs. And she said that with her perspective, and she's the one is always going to doctor's appointments. She thinks it is. And I see no reason why your makeup can't match your scrubs. And since more and more people are taking even part-time work in the medical field, especially now with COVID and the short staffing of hospitals and things, even though some of you may tell me that people in the medical field might not even be allowed to wear makeup. And if that's the case, well then, my bad. Here is a B&H Cosmetics Studio Pro number 17 brush. And I'm going to go into this teal color.
color in the Let It Rainbow palette. Such a gorgeous, gorgeous color. I'm going to concentrate on the lids. Up against the lash line, probably I have maybe a third of an inch of space. And I want to make sure that I have a good opaque color. So what ends up happening is these colors, even though it's basically one stripe on top of another, ends up giving it kind of a blended look. And throughout the day, as your eyelids move, it will do some blending. It'll have a basic uniform color that will go with what you're wearing. Isn't it interesting how every pass I go makes the eyes deeper and deeper? Let's get a close-up look. Let's see if I can find a white wall. It's hard to find a white wall now. Oh! I think I need some eyeliner. I'm going to go fetch some. Did you know you can layer eyeliners, even different colors? Well, this is what we're going to do. And I have a green, lime green eyeliner, and I have a pale blue. And this, these are both waterproof eyeliners. This pale blue, blue eyeliner is from ColourPop, and the color is called Prance. Uh, and... The brush I'm using is a B&H Cosmetics eyeliner brush. It's for detail work. It's very, has a perfect point. It feels like those real thick felt tip uh, marker type eyeliners for people that are maybe not feeling comfortable with uh, the fine brush in it and how you have to hold it. So I'm going to, I don't need a whole lot of color on the brush because I'm not covering, doing the whole under of my eye. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start in the middle. Let me see. I may have to pull this closer to the wall, even though the light is actually right there. I don't know if this is helping you any. I'm going to start in the corner and I'm going to go maybe a half an inch. And I'm not sure how much of this is even showing up get some more on the other side actually you know what i'm going to carry it down to here Let's see how much of this shows up. And this is going to be more subtle than you think it's going to be at first. Now, this is the green. This is a, is it ColourPop? Yes, it's a ColourPop. This is an eyeliner set called the Beat Drop. And it's five different bright day glow kind of eyeliners including a white yellow orange and that green and oh and there's also a pink one too uh show you the well trust me there is a pink one and it's kind of like this so these eyeliners though they're automatic eyeliners so you have to be very careful they're the swivel kind and it's very easy to have uh, too much come off and then it break off on you and that's the one thing and for the price that they usually are. I got this set, which would be cheaper than buying them one at a time. But I'm going to start where the blue let off. And I'm just going to go underneath my eye. Oh, and you know what? This isn't even, this isn't even, sh oh, darn. I was just going to tell you this wasn't even showing up. And here a little piece of the eyeliner broke off in my hand. So you know what? I forgot what it is. I don't care for these eyeliners. So what I'm going to do 
I'm going to not waste that bit of lead that came off in my hand. I'm going to use a Maybelline eyeliner brush. And I don't know if you can see this. I have this tiny little piece in my hand. I'm going to crush this. And then I'm going to just, you know, I don't believe in wasting things. I can't afford, you know, you guys know how much makeup is. I'm going to load this as best I can onto this brush. And uh, hopefully there will be enough for both eyes. Then I'm going to go from here on to the rest of the eye. Then I'm going to go back into the rest of this. At least it happened here in my hand and it didn't fall down the drain or something. That's usually what happens when these things happen. Uh, and do the other eye here. Having the pale green and the pale blue together so close really gives that overall green and aqua look. That way it goes not only with the hospital scrubs, but it also goes well with the face masks, whether they be the uh, stereotypical uh, surgical masks that you see or whether they be the N95s, which are bluer. So by using all these colors, you will be assured to go with whatever you have to wear as far as your personal protective equipment. But I said that we were going to have more eyeliner. So, and here it is. Now here we have some choices. We can either use a black or we can use a blue. Or we could use both. Now here's what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this blue eyeliner from Sephora and it's supposed to be waterproof for the nine dollars I paid for it. I hope it is. Um, Cassie, stop that. We're going to have a cat interruption in a minute. I'm just going to Oh, we have some very active kitties in my house. Take a look at this up close. Now, down below, we can either accentuate this with more blue or we can be a little bit more reasonable and go for black. You know what? I'm going to go for a little reason more reasonable and I'm going to go for black. That way, it'll go as equally well with the greener shot side as it does the bluer side. And the eyeliner I'm using right now is by Too Faced. It's their Better Than Sex liquid eyeliner. And they sell it as waterproof. On me, it's not. The directions say you're supposed to shake it well. And so, I read the instructions. Now I'm going to... I'm going to join with the blue on top, but I'm not going to cover it up. And go over the blue wing underneath that 
will tail. And it's always a good idea to seal these up right away so they don't dry out. And as expensive as these are, you really do want to seal them. And now it's time for a mascara. If I wanted to, I actually have a teal mascara. But you know what? Then it will fade into the makeup. And I don't think that's a good idea. So I'm just going to play it safe with a basic black mascara. And I'm going to fetch that. Well, I'm still looking for my mascara, but look who I did find. My Cassie. Cassie, the garden cat. Yes, she is so active at night. Oh my goodness, and she's climbing all over things. And when I yell at her, it doesn't really do any good. Because she can't hear me. Oh, yes, Cassie. She's a song singer. And she's a video interrupter. And she is instant personality. Yes, she is, isn't she? Yes, all oh, one of these days. No, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't put makeup on you. I'd get in so much trouble. People would probably report me to SPCA for cat abuse. So, no, I'm sorry. I can't do that. No, I can't do that. Well, no, you know what I can do? I can wash my hands and go find my mascara. Say bye-bye. Bye bye. For my mascara, I found 36H uh, waterproof. This is by a company called Yankina. I think this might be a washable waterproof, but it actually seems to be waterproof, and yet I don't need to put a whole bunch of oil on my eyes to get it off at the end of the night. Soap and water seems to work. I don't know why I thought I'd recently learned that people in the medical field can't wear makeup, but maybe that's sometime they can or some I don't know. I certainly appreciate the fact that there are people that are willing to go through all the education and student debt and all the years investing in a healthcare field uh, job career but if my job required me to not be allowed to wear makeup that would just really that would I think be a deal breaker for me if I couldn't wear makeup and for that matter be in charge of my image with that I learned that there are some careers like in uh, if you want to learn to be a flight attendant there are some upscale uh, airlines that have such a strict dress code they tell you what color eyeshadows to wear and the only eyeshadows you're allowed to wear are brown and beige and they have one stock red lipstick that's the only lipstick that they wear and it's a very nice shade of red mind you i'm not gonna i know the name of the airline but i won't plug them they're not an american company and i have a lot of assumptions about them based on what part of the world their headquarters is and the uh all the strict regimentation that I think must go on with the employees not just because they're an airline but because of what part of the world they're in do you notice how once you put the black liner, eyeliner on top of the colored eyeliner only a little hint of the colored eyeliner peeks out underneath but that's just enough to give like a halo it's almost a, a color highlight how much is going to be noticed underneath the mask i don't know but i think so much of this gives a lift to the wearer it's not so much about how many other people get to see it 
I mean, if you really want to get technical in the age of COVID, if everybody is social distancing the way the Centers for Disease Control recommends, people can't get close enough to really admire people anyway. It almost makes the idea of seeing and being seen seem a little superfluous. And yet, it's really not if you think about the human connection. And so many of us are starved for human connection because we're trying everything we can do to be safe. And just to be safe, we are assuming that those around us are contagious and that's always the best way to protect yourself from anything okay i think that i could see some fading of my eyebrows from taking that hat on and off so i'm going to go back into the color festival palette and i'm going to be for the eyebrows lately i've been using a combination of this color this hot like fuchsia matte color and this very 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 dark metallic blackish purple it's, I'm running very low on my preferred eyebrow color. And since I'm doing a whole lot of nothing, thanks to COVID, uh, why use my very best stuff? I would rather save if I only have a tiny little bit of something. I'd rather save it for when I'm going to meet up with friends or if I'm going to go into a casino or someplace where I want to look fancy. Okay, since this is a look that I am gearing toward people in the healthcare field and they are going to be wearing masks and all kinds of PPE, I'm not going to bother with a lip color. I'm not going to bother with cheek colors. I'm not going to bother with highlighters, anything like that. However, let's see what this looks like with some masks. And look what I happen to have just for the occasion. Somebody with the best of intentions, gave me a pair, uh, a scrub shirt. Of course, the size is 2XL, so I'm sure I could fit my mother into it too. But hey, I don't ever want to seem ungrateful. So this is what, and this is almost matching my scrub pants, which I happen to be wearing. And let me give you a back view of this see now let's see what this makeup look looks with the two of the most common types of masks you're probably going to see in a medical setting and correct me if i'm wrong but they would be the n95 i've been wearing and let's get a close-up look for the makeup with this. And here I have a surgical mask, the kind that seems to be the most in circulation, and the kind that, in fact, some of the security guards have stationed in outside the casinos so that you have to have some kind of face covering, and if you don't have one, they give you one. This is white on the inside and this blue on the outside. And these are supposed to be disposable. I admit, I do wash them. Let's see what this looks like. See? This makeup totally seems to go with this. Is it blue? Is it green? Doesn't matter. It goes with the scrubs. So, if you like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you like me and my content, I'd love to have you subscribe. Until then, take care. Please be safe. Don't catch COVID. Wear your masks. Talk to you soon. Bye.